Broom Bridge is an absolutely fantastic project because it, it's been such a challenge. You're dealing with a listed ancient historic monument that was significantly damaged um, in Storm Desmond in 2015. And the quality of workmanship that's been achieved on this, not only that the technical complexity of rebuilding such a, a badly damaged structure and such an old structure, but then the quality of finish, the quality of workmanship, the stone masonry that, that's gone on here, it is an absolute testament to what the construction and the civil engineering industry can achieve and what the construction industry in our own county can achieve. This is an absolutely fantastic project. Storm Desmond struck in 2015 and wreaked havoc across several bridges in Cumbria. Broom Bridge, quite a pronounced example. The initial form of failure was understood to be uh, scour damage of the, the near side cutwater, which led to partial collapse of the pier and its upstream and left flank axes. One of the considerations we had to make at the beginning was did we want to save the bridge or could we save the bridge. It is a key part of the infrastructure for the highway and it's used by a lot of the tourists that come to the castle, um, certainly the cycle routes as well. Um, along with that it's a grade 2 listed structure and that's been key throughout the project uh, primarily in making sure that we consulted with English Heritage to make sure the quality of the build that we got was correct. Last year um, we were commissioned by the County Council to do the temporary stabilisation so there was a quite a significant scour hole under the pier behind me that's now being repaired. Uh, that was to fill with concrete. There was somewhere in the region of about 110 cubic metres of concrete went into that hole. That included forming a temporary cut water with precast concrete Lego blocks. Thankfully we got commissioned to do the permanent repair as well. We had to reform the arch barrel which you can see behind us, rebuild the sandstone cut water and infill that. It was all used with a designed heritage mortar done by our designer curtains and right back to rebuilding all the parapets. We've also, for future resilience, we've saddled the central arch to give it additional strength. All of the new sandstone has been sourced locally. It comes from a quarry at Bowscar, just over the hill on the other side of Penrith. And we have a local stone cutting uh, contract to Cumbrian Stone, who are based in Penrith, who have done all of the profiling. Most of the work's now are complete. Um, we've still got the parapet stone to put on there, and that's going to be the original stone form, the original bridge. Um, once that's done, we've got um, the surfacing works to undertake, but we now think the bridge is going to be open second week of December, um, which is on schedule as uh, originally planned. 